I have a question. I'm running an N-fed antenna with a 9 to 1 unin in an inverted L configuration. I was wondering if it'd be better to have the feed point closer to the ground or up higher. Oh, um, I think... With an L, I think if you're going to run it in an L configuration, you're going to have to have the feed point towards the ground. Yep. And then yeah. it's going to and then it's going to go up. And you can either do flat top or you can you can do a do a do a sloper from from that point out. Right. Yeah. No, um, I, generally speaking, the L the L configuration is going to be at the feed point towards the ground. Yeah. Uh, but so. but would it, but would it make a difference if it's like one foot from the ground or if it's like five or six feet from the ground? You think? That's a good question. I don't know for sure. Uh, you're going to play have to play a little bit. Um, and I guess it really depends on if you're aiming for Envis or you're trying to get a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, an L normally, you know, you use that in more of a um, smaller configuration. You're trying to cut down on the overall length. Yeah. physical length of the antenna by getting a little bit of a vertical portion. Yeah. So it, it, that in itself is a little bit of a compromise, but you know, I, I, in the right circumstances, an L works very well. So uh, it's a, your mileage may vary sort of thing, but I would say mm -hmm. step it up low to begin with, see how it works, and then if you have the opportunity to putz with it a little bit, maybe get the feed point off the ground. Um, I personally think that getting a feed point off the ground for anything is probably the best. Um, so even if you get that three, four feet up, see how that works compared to being down flat yeah. on the grass. My um, my random wire that I'm running um, this winter, uh, the playing around with, I got it. I got it about three feet off the ground right now. I just pounded a um, metal stake into the into the garden before the ground uh, a fence post into the garden before the ground froze, and it's zip tied about three feet up. Um, then the counterpoise, it goes along the ground. Uh, but I heard that elevating the counterpoise actually a foot or so off the ground actually can make a big difference. So. Yeah. So on um, the buddy stick with the, with the counterpoise, I almost always have to have it elevated. If I have it on the ground, the SWR is too high. I keep yep. that up and elevate it, and that thing will ring like a bell. So. Mm -hmm. So get yeah, so getting your box up a couple feet would have maybe help with elevating your counterpoise too. So. Um, I would I would start with that, even if it's a, just a foot or two. See what yeah. you can do. Maybe it's on the side of the house. If you're doing something like that, or if you got a small mm -hmm. fence post or something, you can try that as well. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.